Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Kubernetes video. Today I will be talking about Alert Manager and this is a continuation of our series on Kubernetes monitoring. So today we're going to learn about how we handle and manage and route alerts using Alert Manager. So let's get into it. First of all, Alert Manager receives alerts from Prometheus. So in our last video we discussed how to set up and configure alerts uh, in Prometheus itself. Those alerts are then routed to Alert Manager, which can perform a series of actions. And those actions are grouping, routing, inhibition, and silencing. And we'll talk about what each of these are in the coming sections. So, first of all, grouping allows us to merge multiple alerts into a single signal, which is then sent to our endpoint such as it could be email, Slack, or whatever uh, endpoint we want to use to receive our alerts. So it categorizes alerts of a similar nature into a single notification, as I mentioned. It uses alert labels to group the alerts. And we also have these additional configurations, group weight, group interval, and repeat interval. So group weight is the configuration that allows us to define the amount of time that we wait for other alerts that qualify for the group to be generated and sent as a group. Group interval is the amount of time that we allow for alerts to be added to the group or for a new notification to be sent after a new alert is added to the group. And then repeat interval is the amount of time that we allow between resending the same alert if the threshold is still active. Next, we have silences. So silences simply mute alerts for a given period of time. They're useful during outages. So you can imagine if uh, some network device goes down and a whole bunch of uh, servers become unreachable, then you might want to mute all of the alerts for all of the affected hosts. And you can do that using silences. So what if we want to create a silence? Well. We can go into Alert Manager and do this quite easily by just clicking on the silence button and click new silence. Then we specify a duration. Then we specify a label that we want to match uh, to essentially match the alerts that we want to silence. So we can say alert name equals info inhibitor. So this is one of the default alerts that is always firing in, Kuber in uh, Prometheus. So we can just go ahead and create that. And that alert from now on should be silence. Now, inhibition. Inhibition allows us to suppress certain alerts if other alerts are already firing. We use inhibit rules in the alert manager configuration. And this is an example of such an inhibit rule. So we can see that we have a source matcher and the source matcher just specifies a label severity equals critical target matcher again severity equals warning and equal alert name cluster and service so what does this actually mean well it means that for uh, any alerts with the severity warning we check if there is an alert with the same alert name the same cluster and the same service with a critical severity if that is the case then we do not generate the alert receivers so receivers are endpoints to which we can send alerts a uh, classic example is what you can see down below uh, we are sending an alert to slack so we have a webhook url we have defined the name of the channel and we have uh, a name for the receiver. We also have a second receiver here called null and that's where we route uh, alerts that we don't want to be sent anywhere specific. We just want to discard them. And if you want to see how to generate a webhook, it's actually very simple. You go into Slack, you just click settings and administration, manage apps. That should open up here. You go incoming webhooks, add to Slack, and then you just specify the alert that you want. 
and this will give you the webhook and that is literally all that you need along with your alert manager configuration to set up a receiver for slack alerts so you get that up and running very quickly next and finally is routing so these are the rules that determine where alerts are sent so we can see here that in this case the default alerts info inhibitor and watchdog we want to be sent to the null receiver because these are more to ensure that prometheus is running correctly rather than to notify about any particular issue with the cluster however if we see uh, critical severity alerts then we will want to send them to our slack receiver that we defined in the previous step it's called slack notifications name and we're referencing that here and again we have these group interval uh, and group weight configurations as we mentioned earlier so that's my video on alert manager i hope that was useful if you have any questions please do leave a comment please like and subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video